everyone. Thanks for coming out here. I hope we're all well and keeping safe. Please, let's do well to keep safe and um, safeguard ourselves and the lives of our families as well. So, the news on our decks this morning, Edo State Government has got a message to um, the good people of Edo State. Um, it's quite shocking and what um, some persons have been indulging in, but um, the Edo State Government is sending a strong warning out um, to um, members of the uh, public. Before we go straight into the news, and please, if you haven't yet subscribed, do click on the subscribe button down below and also do give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button and just to um, help us know that you do um, appreciate um, what we are doing here. So, right, let's go straight um, into the news. Edo government warns against submitting details during screening and testing. The Edo State Government has warned residents against submitting of wrong information, including names, addresses, and phone contacts during the ongoing massive screening and testing exercise across the 18 local government areas of the state. Commissioner for Health, Dr. Patrick Okundia, who spoke to journalists in Benin City, charged residents to desist from such pernicious acts as it was threatening the state government's efforts to contain the pandemic and ensure the health and well-being of Edo people. Okundia said there was no need for people to resist screening and testing for COVID-19 or give fake information during the exercise as early detection and treatment increases one's chances of survival. He, however, reassured that the government is resolute and committed to containing COVID-19 pandemic in all communities across the state. The commissioner said, It has come to the notice of the Edo State Ministry of Health that some residents have adopted the strategy of giving out fake phone numbers and wrong addresses to health officials during the screening and testing exercise to evade follow-up and treatment in the eventuality that they test positive. This is a serious threat to the government's effort at curtailing the spread of coronavirus pandemic in the state. It further jeopardizes the health and safety of the persons, relatives, neighbors, and indeed all Edo residents. Currently, one case is yet to be located due to wrong address and phone number this call for serious worry as no one can estimate the level of danger this person poses to the health of other residents patrick okundia continued we urge all residents to make themselves available for the ongoing massive screening and testing exercise and ensure they do not provide wrong details to health workers as it will help the government in wiping out this pandemic from all communities across Edo State. Also, we charge you to comply with all government directives aimed at keeping you safe and healthy. Stay at home, observe social distancing and other precautionary measures against the spread of the infectious disease, including regular hand washing with soap under running water and the use of alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Do well to report anyone with overseas travel history. Two new toll-free lines for COVID-19 response have been introduced by Edo State Government to strengthen the initial lines from the State Ministry of Health and the World Health Organization, WHO, distributed at the onset of the outbreak. If you have any COVID-19 symptoms, please call 080-0123-5111 or 080-022-00110 for assistance, he added. So my people, this is, this is a very serious one. So the um, Edo State Government um, is um, warning and um, urging Edo Lights, the good people of Edo State, um, to desist from the art of um, providing um, incorrect um, details. You know, um, the, the, the different um, local governments across the state, the 18 local governments across the state, they, they have testing centers and screening centers just to, sh be, to keep um, residents um, rest assured and um, to take away every worry and every kind of um, concern they have with regards to their health and with regards to what we are all experiencing the COVID-19. 
So this testing exercise is actually for the good of everyone, to be honest. Uh, those state governments, they are in the right path. They are doing the right thing. And we can see that um, the, the, the cases, we've not heard of any... Uh, um, unusual number of cases even in Edo State. But the worrying thing now to the uh, um, Edo State government, the Commissioner of Health has spoken and um, he stated that um, fake numbers are being given. I don't really know what these people are worried about because the thing is when you drop down your details and you are being screened, if you are, if you test positive, all they are doing is just to uh, make sure that you are well and your relatives are well. Right now, they are concerned about one particular um, case, one person that tested positive during the screening exercise. They've been trying to reach that number. They've been ringing the number even try to and locate the address but unfortunately that number doesn't exist that address doesn't exist as well so nobody because right now it's not even that person the, the Edo state government worries for alone the Edo state government is worried about that person's family as well because that person has gone back home to mix up with the other family members you know if you test positive all you need to do is to isolate yourself you stay safe. You, you are staying safe and you are keeping your family members safe. You don't want to wipe out your whole family just because of them. Um, will I call it ignorance or um, um, being naive of um, what this is all about? COVID-19, we know that um, it doesn't have cure. We heard that Madagascar has some form of herbal drink. But the thing is, a lot of people have recovered from it. And um, if you happen to test positive, you're still going to recover for it, from it. So please, uh, do light. Let's do the right thing. Let's ensure to provide our um, correct details. This is not really a good practice. Even um, um, aside putting your family at risk, the whole community is at risk as well because it's a multiplier effect. By the time that person goes back home, meets with his family member, the family member now enters the community again. We can imagine it's just it's a ripple effect. It's 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 not going to be a nice case. We don't want that kind of situation for a those state. We know um even um the Oba of Bini has been clamoring that um they should um Godwin Obaseki should lock down a those state totally. But he said he's considering the the man the, the common man that his daily ends meet is out there. He has to go out on a daily basis to earn something and feed his family. He doesn't want to increase the hardship. We're already in trying times. This is already difficult times for everyone. So he's doing his best. So let's not um, um take it to that level where the there will be total lockdown in the whole of uh, Edo State where no one can go out and come in. We don't want it to get to that stage. So let's do the right thing. The government, they are playing their role. Edo State government is playing um, their, their role by um, making available these test centers. And also what they've done, they've made available even toll-free numbers. If you have any concern or any symptom, ring the number. So what more can they do? They are there to assist. If you are worried about anything, or any member of your family, the number is there to ring. So my people, that's the news reaching us at the moment. It's really not acceptable. It's not a good one for um, um, good people of Edo to be providing um, fake details, wrong details. It's not, um, this is not, um, we are not, they are not trying to stigmatize anyone. And it's not like when you are tested, they are going to publish your name somewhere. It's just for follow-up. That was what the health um, um, commission, minister for health, um, the, sorry, the Commissioner for Health talked about Dr. Patrick Okundia. So, people, please, um, let's, let's, uh, let's step away from um, that kind of a mentality of um, giving fake details. And he also urged um, uh, Edo Lights to continue with all of the derivatives, the, the social distancing, the hand washing. Let's keep ourselves safe. We're almost past this um, phase. And God will help us. Uh, and this COVID-19 will leave our city and will leave our nation by the grace of God. So people, that's the, the news reaching us at the moment. We do want you to leave your take. Leave your comment down below in the comment section. Let us know what you feel um, and regarding what um, Edo State Government um, is clamoring for, what they've requested. It's not too much. It's not too hard. In my opinion, it's not too much. They're saying the right thing. Do leave your correct details if you come for screening. It's just a case of follow-up. They are not publishing your name and all your personal details anywhere. So my people, I want to take this time once again to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed. Please, if you haven't yet subscribed, do click on the subscribe button down below and also do hit on the like button. Do give us a thumbs up just to let us know you do appreciate what we're doing. So till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.